Hello everybody, hi. I uh, just want to take a few minutes of your time to share this brilliant app uh, called Touchcast. Uh, I'm using a green screen behind me uh, and I'm using my own iPad. You don't have to use an iPad, you can use any kind of touch screen device and it is a free app. Okay, so first um, I'm going to show you the green screen, green screen function for you. Uh, so on the green screen um, I'm going to select it and then I'm going to choose my background. Okay, so I can choose any background I want. I mean, this is a cheesy sort of newsroom background. Um, I'm gonna go through and let's see what else I can find. Okay, uh, I like a very simple background, something like this. Okay, so big deal, I've changed my background. So what? Nothing special about that. Well, let's have a look at the other functions in it. Uh, you can, if you want to, you can choose uh, images to pop up like this. So. I've chosen one image here. I can, if I want to, rescale the image, zoom in. I can position the image anywhere I want. I can also get multiple images to pop up. Oh dear, uh, there's that there. I can also position myself on the screen. Uh, I can, if I want to, reduce my, my size. I can enlarge it so I'm half of the screen. But again, I can reduce the image back to its original size. Again multiple images up and then me down here uh, again floating around talking about this part talking about that part or this part over here okay okay so you can play with uh, simple images you can talk about images you can also do that with video so here's one video put that video over here and here's video number two again what you might want to do is you might want to get a student to talk about a video. You might want to get them to be part of it. You might want to get them to illustrate what's happening and take you through moving image as it's, as it's moving. Okay. All right. So you've got two functions. You've got photographs and you've got video. So let's get rid of this video. Put that there. Another option that you've got, which is really cool about this, is the website. Uh, I like this functionality because again if you put yourself small down here not only does the website come up but by touching oh by touching the actual screen you can interact with the website so you can take your viewer through what is happening live on the website okay so it is fully interacting all right I'm not going to type in my details because then everyone will see now Let's, uh, let's go back for a moment, let's get this off, put me large again now. It's also got uh, a lot of functionality for effects as well. You can do things like filter effects, uh, where you can alter um, the look of the image you're doing, uh, right from sepia, black and white. You can also do funky things like this, where you pixelate, polka dot, uh, and do some weird pieces of art like this. Okay, so uh, let's look at what else this has got. Uh, if I go to whiteboard, uh, create new board, I can also um, illustrate, highlight, use the marker functions to, uh, let's see, just highlight some parts. So we're talking about the eyes around here, we're talking about the ears here. Uh, again, uh, change another color, select a different color, and you can begin to color, doodle, do things on. Don't like it, you wanna get rid of it, absolutely fine. Edit, delete, not a problem. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you like this. I hope you get into it, maybe experiment, have a little play with it. Let your students see what they think of it. Uh, any questions, anything you need to know, come and ask me. You know where I am. Thanks.